Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for, this is your bonus reading for February, 2022. I've said to pretty much everyone that to me, uh, February is really like the beginning of 2022. So we're just gonna see what are the, what's the biggest change if there is one that could be happening for you in the month of February. And uh, that's gonna be that, uh, Sag. Um, obviously I'm not in my office um, because it's snowing like crazy. And um, <laughs> so I'm not going in. So bear with me. I'm not really used to this setup. It, it's my old setup. And you know, like I said, I'm not really used to it. But anyway, you start off with the three of swords. Some of you could be coming off a heartbreak, um, definitely some sort of ending. I mean, you have the judgment card, the 10 of swords here as well. So I do feel some of you could be having a difficult or have been through a difficult ending. If I'm being honest, it's like, you know, I feel for some of you, it's like you could be hoping for a person to return from the past, but you have the 10 of swords here, which would really represent moving on. It's like, like I always say, trust me, I could get a ton of views by telling everyone your ex is coming back. And I'm sure a lot, some of you want to hear that, which is fine. I've been there, right? But what I would say, if I'm being honest, I would say they're not coming back. Uh, 10 of swords here. And again, and that's not going to be true for all of you, of course, take it how it resonates. But uh, to me, it looks like you're moving away from something from the past, maybe something that you were hoping would uh, return for some of you. Uh, for others, I just feel that this is more talking about a change. Judgment is like your inner calling. Ten of Swords says the death needs to happen. And uh, we'll talk about this in just a second. Uh, you have the King of Cups as your crossing energy. The King of Cups crossing is kind of like needing to dive into your emotions, uh, needing to look into your emotions or needing to examine your emotions. And what I would say here is if you're going through a breakup and you're wanting this person back, it could just be saying, like if you really look deep down inside, do you want them back or do you just really miss having a person? You know, it's like needing to figure that out. I can't answer that question for you. So you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Um, it's also part of like needing to kind of like go on a voyage, needing to undergo a transformation. And uh, we're gonna talk about, talk about this in a second. That makes perfect sense with this judgment card and the 10 of swords showing up. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the judgment card. So again, I do feel for some of you, not all of you, take it how it resonates. Like I said, um, some of you may want a person back from the past. Uh, and that's fine. Like I said, no judgments here. Uh, you could just be thinking about it. But these people, they are still standing in their coffins. It's like, this is their higher self right here, this angel. And that angel is like saying, it is time for you to step out of the coffin. It is time for you to step into a new life. Uh, I don't want to jump too far ahead here, but in the near future, you have the Ten of Swords and uh, very, very similar energy. The Ten of Swords is something is dead, done, over with, and it's time to move on to something new. Uh, we'll talk about that more in just a second. Uh, next, you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant, this is showing up in the area of your foundation. The Hierophant, I like. I actually like this showing up here. If you're making a separation, it doesn't even have to be in love. You could be separating away from anything and being called to something greater with the judgment card. The Hierophant actually does say you have at least some good standards for a new situation. It's kind of like a card of morals and, and values, but what's popping into my head for you, Sagittarius, is that this has more to do with your standards, um, like what you're willing to accept in your life, what you're not willing to accept in your life, all that other good stuff. So I feel like your standards are kind of at the right level, uh, if that makes sense with the uh, Hierophant. And I feel like you're kind of coming at things from uh, like a place of values or having good values as well. Uh, in the past, you have the Four of Swords, hoping for a recovery. So again, if you went through a breakup, this could say that you're hoping for a recovery or you have been praying for blessings. Um, even if you haven't gone through a breakup, this card could say and does say that you have been praying for blessings. He's praying and there's a person in this stained glass window up here who is receiving blessings from another person. So I feel like you've been hoping for a blessing. You've been trying to manifest something in your life. You even have the magician here as well, which kind of says the same thing. Uh, and in the near future, you have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords says it's time to undergo that death with the Judgment card. The death is you answering the call and stepping out of the coffin. When you do that, 
you receive blessings. He is making the same symbol that the Hierophant is making right above my finger there. And that symbol represents receiving blessings. So I personally consider the Ten of Swords to be a good card. The sun is coming up in the background. Uh, Ten of Swords represents something that is dead done over with and tens in the tarot represent the end. So I've heard from plenty of readers that are like, oh, the Ten of Swords is the worst card in the deck. I'm always like, well, it's the end. <laughs> it doesn't, there is nothing, it is rock bottom. There is nothing worse. So it, it's not really a bad card and it's a card of blessings as well. So I really feel that there could be blessings coming in for you after letting something go. I think the hard part of it is letting something go. It's like, that's what makes it not a good card. It, but, you know, I think that's a, kind of like a juvenile way to look at it. It's like, we're adults. We have to let things go. Sometimes we have to move past things. And once we do it, um, then we receive blessings. And look, even in the next few months, you have the Nine of Cups, wishes, wish fulfillment, happiness, you know, pretty much everything you want with the Nine of Cups. Very simple reading because I feel that's what it's saying. I feel like it's saying, you know, sacrificing something that you thought you wanted for, for a new beginning is actually going to lead to the blessings. Um, you know, I hope that makes sense. Like letting go of something from the past, you're actually, this is like a blessing in disguise reading where it's like you're going to step into something that's much, much better for you. I think the challenge is the moon card. Your last card, your outcome is the moon. The moon is like, you can't see it. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, you have to walk down this path. You know, you have to climb these mountains in the background, but it's like, are you gonna get your reward? I would say, of course, you always get your, you know, I'm jumping ahead here, but you always get your reward with the moon because the moon comes up, moon goes down, sun comes up, right? It's like, you always get your reward with that card. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the hangman. It wouldn't really surprise me if you were experiencing some like delays or slowdowns with people in your life. I really don't think this is a bad thing. Sometimes we just, you know, maybe enter into times where we want to be less social. I feel that for some of you where maybe you just don't feel as social as you normally do. And there's really nothing wrong with that. So I feel like you're just taking time for yourself, doing your own thing and kind of focusing on yourself with this card. And like I said, I, I don't really feel there's anything wrong with that, with this energy here. I also feel you could be kind of getting some news from a person. It's kind of weird how this is popping into my head. I do feel like some of you could be getting some unexpected news. It's not going to focus. I feel like you could be getting some unexpected news from a person in your life. And I just feel like they've been delaying telling you. It doesn't feel bad, though. <laughs> feels good. So I don't know. I feel like you'll be fine. Uh, next, you have the magician in the area of your future feelings, feeling like you are manifesting your perfect life. He has these flowers in front of him here. And those flowers, it kind of represents the fact that he knows that to manifest things, he needs to focus on things that bring joy and happiness into his life. He can't be focusing on all the bad things. So I feel for a lot of you, this card is saying that you need to focus on the things that make you happy at this time. That is going to definitely help you with your manifesting, with your manifestations and all that other good stuff. So again, I would focus on things that make you happy um, with that magician card. I would also pay very close attention. It's like, Mm, what's popping into my head here is I, I feel like if you're moving in the right direction, it's like there are subtle things that are going to be happening. Maybe you're seeing repeating numbers on the clock. Mm, maybe you just feel slightly better. And I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but <laughs> it's like sometimes I think that, you know, if, you, if, you, if you, you're in a dark hole, right, just feeling just a little bit better and then continuing to feel a little bit better and a little bit better might just be the thing that gets you out. So in a lot of ways, I don't think it's a bad thing, uh, this card. Uh, your outcome, I'm actually going to clarify your outcome in just a second, but you have the moon here. I feel like it's saying walk towards these mountains, which mountains represent potential. They also represent accomplishments in the tarot as well. So it's like you're making or having some sort of accomplishment in your life. But like I said, maybe you don't see it. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is definitely about just chopping something out of your life, whether it's a past person, past situation, something that you thought would go differently, because this is like a blessing in disguise reading. Uh, tell me more about this moon card. You have, are you kidding? Chariot? <laughs> Definitely a victory for you uh, going down that mountain, so, uh, or going up that mountain towards the chariot. Chariot doesn't know where he's going. These two sphinxes on the card represent mysteries, and they also represent the fact that, you know, they're not attached to the chariot. 
it kind of says he's trusting that the universe is going to bring him where he needs to go. Very hard thing to do, trust me. Um, I get it. But at the same time, I feel like that's exactly what you need to do there with that cherry card. I want to clarify this hangman actually as well. Yeah, lover, someone could be expressing their feelings to you <laughs> here, Sagittarius. That wouldn't surprise me at all. I feel like for some of you, you could have like a secret admirer type situation going on here with the uh, hangman and the lover. Someone could be expressing their feelings. Take it how it resonates. You could be expressing your feelings towards a person as well. Could be a water sign, Taurus. Mm, could be a Cancer. Water water in general. Could be an Aquarius. Um, could be any sign. But I feel like you could be expressing your feelings towards a person or vice versa. Uh, for others, I feel like the surprise news could be about moving or making a new decision. Someone could be telling you that they're moving or traveling. Maybe someone's coming to see you with the chariot. Uh, you could also be the one that's moving here as well uh, with that energy. So uh, that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I don't have any Oracle cards because, you know, obviously I'm not in my office, but uh, we're just going to pull this card here. You're, you have the King of Pentacles. We're just going to pretend it's an Oracle card. King of Pentacles is about building uh, long-term stability and security. Uh, I actually kind of like this for you. I feel like you're trusting your guidance is what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles in building more security in your life. Yeah, you have the Page of Cups as well. Could be an Earth sign coming in for you. For those of you that want love, this could definitely be love uh, coming in in the form of an Earth sign. Uh, for others, I feel like you need to move more towards your imagination here. The Page of Cups is normally holding that cup out with a fish inside of it. And the fish is something he is imagining. It might not actually exist. So he needs to like manifest that fish on earth and it could be your dream life it could be love it could be a person it could be anything but the card itself says you need to manifest the things that you desire uh here on earth and that's kind of what i feel like this card is saying i feel like it's saying you need to bring something down to earth here let's i just want to pull something from the middle yeah ace of wands are you kidding me uh, definitely a very passionate new beginning coming in for you a lot of abundance i feel like there's a lot of growth coming in for you as well here sagittarius so i love this reading Definitely moving in the right direction. I feel like letting go of something is going to lead to this like blessing in disguise type of energy. So uh, thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.